Hey, I'm Jeremy Etier, kinesiologist, fitness expert, and founder of Built With Science. And today I'm going to show you my diet and explain how it supports my training and my recovery. So with my diet, I try to keep things pretty simple. I just have a few goals that I wanna hit with my diet every single day that enables me to maximize the results that I see from my diet. So the number one thing I prioritize with my diet is my calorie intake. Since I'm trying to eat to lose fat, I wanna make sure that I'm eating at a calorie deficit, which for me is right around 2300 to 20. 400 calories a day and the next thing I prioritize is my protein intake so I want to make sure that I'm getting enough protein I like to hit around one gram of protein per pound of my body weight as that's more than enough for me to be able to maintain and even build some muscle as I strip off fat so once I hit my calorie and my protein goals I really just choose what I want to do with my fats and carbs. I don't place much importance on the numbers there, but I do feel like I perform better and I'm more energized with a relatively higher carb intake and a relatively lower fat intake, which for me is right about 250 to 300 grams of carbs and about 50 to 70 grams of fat per day. But again, I don't really stress these numbers too much. I focus more so on the calories and the protein. And number three is I want to choose foods that give me the most bang for my buck. I basically treat my calories for the day as a bank account, right? So I want to spend my money or my calories on foods that are going to provide the most return on my investment. I choose foods that are filling, high volume, low in calories, very nutrient dense and pack a ton of fiber and micronutrients as this is what's going to make me adhere to the diet to the best and make me feel like I'm not even on a diet at all because I'm so full and satisfied from these foods. So as for what exactly this looks like, I'll wake up at about 7 a.m. and beside my bed, I always have a bottle of water ready. And what I'll do is I'll just chug a liter of water right away because we get dehydrated overnight with onion water. So all this does is it helps just kickstart that hydration process, but it also helps blunt that morning hunger that I know I get and probably a lot of others get as well. And then after that, I'll go right into a morning mobility and meditation routine that I do. And then I'll do some computer and content creation work for about an hour or so. Then at about 9 a.m. is when I'm gonna have my first meal. And this is both my breakfast and my pre-workout meal since I'm gonna be working out about an hour after I have this meal. So knowing that, I always wanna make sure that within this meal, I'm getting enough protein. So at least 20 grams of high quality protein as this is going to actually help me with my recovery from my workout. And then number two is I always wanna make sure that I'm having sufficient carbs as this is gonna help me with my energy levels and my performance in that workout. So for me, typically what this looks like is I'll have an omelet with a few servings of egg whites, a whole egg, I'll dice up some red peppers, which are actually really high in vitamin C, dice up some mushrooms, some diced onions, some garlic, throw it all in there just to help with the flavors and also the micronutrients that you get from those. And then for my carbs, I'll have about half of a cup of oats. I'll have some sliced banana on top of that. And then I'll also throw in some cinnamon and some stevia for a little bit of sweetness as well. So after about an hour or so of my first meal, I head on over to the gym and a typical workout for me is about 45 to 60 minutes of weights. And then depending on the day, I'll do a little bit of cardio and conditioning work afterwards as well. And then immediately after my workout, as I'm leaving the gym, I'll always make sure that I have a protein shake handy. So I use whey isolate protein, which is just a fast digesting protein, just to help kickstart that muscle protein synthesis and recovery process after the gym. And I'll also have a few rice cakes as well, which is just a convenient fast digesting carb that can help again, stimulate that recovery process and start replenishing some of the glycogen that I may have used up in that workout. Although research now shows that the post-workout meal isn't as important as we once thought, I personally find that having some adequate protein and carbs immediately after your workout, it really does make a difference in terms of your recovery and minimizing the soreness that you get in the following days after your workout. So after about an hour or two, after my appetite kicks up again is when I'm gonna have my official post-workout meal. And for me, typically what this looks like is I'll have a sweet potato as my carb source, 
I freaking love these. They taste amazing and they're full of fiber and micronutrients. From our protein source, I'll usually have baked salmon. This is packed with a ton of healthy fats and important omega-3s. And then on the side, I'll just have some baked veggies. So things like kale, cauliflower, and broccoli. And then I'll sprinkle some lemon and some good old salt and pepper on them. And again, these are packed with fiber and micronutrients. And all these foods, they just help me stay full and satisfied throughout the day. And then on that note, I do also wanna mention that I try to bake my foods as much as possible. And when I do cook it on the pan, I'll use a spray oil instead of pouring a ton of cooking oil on that, as that just saves me literally hundreds of calories a day just by making that simple switch. So I try to portion most of my carbs around my workouts since it's gonna best help with my performance and my recovery, especially as I get leaner and leaner. But that does mean that my dinner is gonna be relatively lower in carbs. But at the same time, I make it extremely filling and satisfying with a massive chicken fajita salad. So I will quite literally take a big bowl like this and I will fill it with a ton of green leafy veggies, which are the most nutrient dense veggies. So spinach and romaine lettuce. And then I'll dice up a bunch of red peppers, onions, mushrooms, and chicken breast. And I'll cook that on the pan, throw it in here, and I'll add some salsa, some hot sauce, some lime, and about half of an avocado as well. Throw it in there, mix it all up, it tastes amazing. So a few hours after that meal is when the cravings start to kick up at about 9 p.m., 10 p.m. at night. And this is my go-to meal for that. So first thing I'll have is some 0% fat-free Greek yogurt. And this is a great slow digestion protein source to just help stimulate protein synthesis overnight. And to this, I'll add some cinnamon, I'll add in some stevia for sweetness as well, and also some frozen mixed berries just for a little bit of taste and also the fiber. And then, especially if my girlfriend's got a TV show or a movie plan for us, my go-to snack is popcorn. Most people don't realize that plain, non-buttered up popcorn is one of the most satiating, high fiber, high volume, low calorie foods out there. I mean, this whole bowl alone, this is less than 200 calories. And to make it taste a little bit better, what I'll do is I'll spray a little bit of oil on it, and then I'll pour some nutritional yeast on it, which is also packed with a ton of micronutrients and protein, and it tastes similar to cheese. So I'll sprinkle that on there, and this honestly just gets rid of all the cravings for the night. And no, eating all of this past 6 p.m. will not cause all this food to be stored as fat. That is a long busted myth. So as for supplements, I honestly keep it simple. I stick to the basics. I use a protein powder, whey isolate protein, which is just a convenient, high quality, fast digesting protein. And then I'll also use creatine, which just helps with my performance and my weights workouts. And then I'll also take some omega-3s, some vitamin D3, and some zinc as well. And that's pretty much it. Don't overcomplicate things. Prioritize hitting your calorie and your protein targets for the day as that's what's most important for fat loss. And then simply experiment with different nutrient dense foods and meals that you can incorporate that best enable you to hit those targets while staying full and satisfied throughout the day. You have a lot more freedom with your diet than you may think. So don't limit yourself to specific foods just because somebody said that they're good or bad. I found the foods and meals that work for me but you need to experiment and create the diet that you can adhere to in the long run. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. Thanks for having me. Cheers, everyone.